Christ is in our midst, dear friends. Today we are going to talk about fasting. Many people confuse fasting with diet and therefore cannot fully benefit from it in spiritual sense. In Orthodox tradition, we have four fasting periods, Nativity Fast, Great Land, the Dermation Fast, and Apostolic Fast, plus Wednesdays and Fridays of every week with exemptions of fast-free periods. Right now, we are in the period of the Nativity Fast. During these 40 days before the birth of Jesus Christ, an Orthodox Christian is motivated to fast in order to get ready for the Feast of the Nativity of the Lord. Does it sound a little bit strange that for us to properly celebrate the feast, we must abstain from food first? Well, it depends on how you understand fasting. If you fast only by abstaining from food, then of course, it doesn't make much sense. And it definitely looks like during these 40 days, we are building a good appetite so that we can eat a lot of goodies on Christmas Day. But Orthodox fast is not about food or gastronomy. Abstinence from food is just a tool that helps us gain the main purpose of fasting. That is spiritual improvement by abandoning sin and becoming whole through repentance, standing against temptations, learning the prayer skill, and doing the good deeds of faith. We need to learn how to keep our minds and thoughts in order. But how is this inner or spiritual improvement tied to the food we eat? After all, along with prayer and repentance, Church does give us rules to abstain from certain food, such as meat, eggs, and dairy products, sometimes fish. On some days, even olive oil is left in our closets untouched. The Orthodox Church teaches that a human being is body plus soul plus spirit. So fasting should balance the weight of the three because this union is working as a whole. To be honest, through the year we concentrate our attention mostly on our body and pay very little attention to our soul. And eventually we will neglect our spiritual part. We simply won't have time for our souls. From a practical point of view, simplicity and moderation in food frees more time for our spiritual deeds. First, the simple food means less time to prepare the meal and to have more time for our souls. Another fasting point, fast is a test. Try turning your internet connection off for, for a week or two. Some people would panic that they lost something important. Others might become less patient and even angry. So when our body is deprived of something, our other feelings become aggravated. And that's the time for a Christian to evaluate our feelings. Are they sinful? Anger? Hate? Coarse language? Or are they just and full of love for God and for our neighbors? Our soul needs attention just as our body does. And fast is exactly for that. Although there are general recommendations or rules on how to fast, we must understand that at the same time, fast is very personal. And so-called strictness, in this case, depends on our bodily strength and the ability to safely carry on without certain type of food. Fast is never strict for the sick, for children, the elderly, for the pregnant. These people are already carrying bodily lim limitations of a sort. So instead of completely abstaining from the certain types of food, it is recommended for them just to limit the quantity of that food, providing it is safe for their health. So instead of eating 15 chocolate bars a day, you'll eat, let's say, about 10. I'm a little uh, exaggerating here, of course. This kind of fast, when you are not depriving yourself fully, but limiting the quantity of food, is very good for children to start with, because fasting, I think, should be trained and gradually enhanced, rather than imposed all at once. Talk to your priest about your fasting discipline. So, Orthodox fasting tradition 
is more of an inner abstinence from sinful thoughts. It's a concentration on improving our spiritual state through repentance and prayer. It's about self-discipline and practice in Christian virtues. And our abstinence from food is just a useful tool to give us more time and to make extra effort for a spiritual recovery. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, rejoice in the Lord, and subscribe to my channel. May God bless you and your families.